What's up, everybody? I'm the Goju Ryu philosopher, and this is part of my History of Goju Ryu series. Today, we're finally covering the founder of the style of Goju Ryu, Miyagi Chojun Sensei. To keep this video from being too long, this time I'm only going to give an introduction and overview to the man, his martial arts, and his life. However, future videos in this series will cover certain periods in his life, such as his 1934 trip to Hawaii, in more depth. Let's get into it. Miyagi Chojun was born in Naha on the 25th of April, 1888, into an upper-class family. He first studied martial arts with Aragaki Ryuko, beginning somewhere around the age of 11. In 1902, when Miyagi was 14, he was introduced to Higaona Kanryo-sensei and became his student. According to Higaona Morio-sensei, no relation, Miyagi took part in cleaning Higaona's dojo to convince him to accept him as a student. He eventually became a live-in student of the Nahate master, and would become one of his most accomplished students. Higaona Kanryo had several other students who would be instrumental in Miyagi-sensei's later life. The two most important of his fellow students were Higa Seiko and Kyoda Juhatsu. Higa would become Miyagi's student, and eventually teach many of the second generation of Goju Ryu. Kyoda, on the other hand, would form his own style of To'on Ryu, becoming another pillar of the Okinawan karate community. Miyagi trained with Higaona sensei for around 14 years, accepting a two-year tour of duty from 1910 to 1912. He continued his study of Nahate up until Higaona's death in 1915. After his teacher passed away, Miyagi traveled to Fujian, China with his friend and fellow martial artist Go Kenki, or Wu Xiangui, as his name was pronounced in Chinese, coming along as an interpreter. During this travel, he researched martial arts like his teacher had before him. It's unclear exactly what styles he studied during this trip, though possibilities range from Bagua Kuang, Minghe Kuang, Bai He Kuang, or even Tai Chi. During this research trip, Miyagi Sensei encountered a form that is known today as Rokishu, meaning six hands. Rokishu doesn't survive in Goju Ryu, although a quick YouTube search reveals several versions of the kata still going around. However, Rokishu serves as the basis for the kata Tensho, one of the most representative kata in Goju Ryu. After returning from Fujian, Miyagi Sensei started his own dojo. Around this time, he was also involved in the founding of the Karate Research Society, which began operation in 1918. This society, which included many masters of other styles such as Kyoda Juhatsu, Mabuni Kenwa, and Motobu Choki, was instrumental in bringing together the brightest minds in karate. Additionally, in 1921, Miyagi Sensei would demonstrate Nahate alongside Shotokan pioneer Funakoshi Gichin in an exhibition for Prince Hirohito, who would later be crowned as the Showa Emperor. It's also said that Judo founder Kano Jigoro met and became friends with Miyagi Sensei in 1927. The story behind the naming of Goju Ryu is a rather famous, if apocryphal, one. As the story goes, Miyagi Sensei was unable to attend a demonstration of martial arts in honor of the Showa Emperor's coronation and sent his student Shinzato Jinan in his stead. Shinzato was asked about the name of his style after giving his performance and was unable to give a response. Versions of this story sometimes say that he called his style Hanko Ryu, meaning half-hard style. After relating this experience to Miyagi-sensei, deliberation began to choose an official name for the style. Miyagi would eventually land on the name Goju Ryu, drawing from Article 13 of the Bubishi, a short poem called The Eight Laws of the Fist. The third line reads, Ho wa Goju no Don Tosu, which translates roughly as, the law of inhaling and exhaling is hard and soft. This was chosen for its symbolism, representing both the focus on breathing techniques in katas like Sanchin, and for the combination of striking and receiving techniques in Goju Ryu. While Miyagi-sensei encouraged study and collaboration with other styles, he was the first karateka to register his style with the Dai Nippon Butoku Kai, the Greater Japan Martial Virtue Society. The 1930s were a busy time for Miyagi-sensei. Around 1929 or 1930, he was invited by Yamaguchi Jitsumi to visit and teach in mainland Japan. Around the same time, he began teaching karate to the Okinawan Police Department, as well as in a Naha high school. He would eventually visit Yamaguchi in 1931, though evidence suggests that this may have lasted for as little as three months. After registering Goju Ryu with the Dai Nippon Butoku Kai in 1933, Miyagi wrote The Outline of Karate Do in 1934, one of his only surviving written works. Later that same year, he would travel to Hawaii for ten months before returning again to Yamaguchi and the Ritsumeikan University Karate Club. Over the rest of the 30s, Miyagi-sensei was awarded several teacher titles by the Butoku Kai. During World War II, Okinawa was hit hard. The Battle of Okinawa, taking place from April to June of 1945, caused untold devastation, 
with an estimated 40 to 150,000 civilians being killed out of an estimated population of 300,000 at a time. This battle was considered to be an attempt to discourage the American troops from invading the Japanese mainland, and was fought with a callous disregard for civilian safety on both sides. Miyagi-sensei survived, but the battle claimed many lives of his close friends and relatives, including one of his sons, as well as Shinzato Jinan. Miyagi ceased teaching karate during the closing period of the war. However, in the years afterwards, as Okinawa was taken under the command of the United States forces, Miyagi-sensei and other karateka were eventually allowed to reopen their dojos. This is when he was active in his famous Garden Dojo, located at his own home. For the remainder of his life, Miyagi would remain in Naha, teaching at the Garden Dojo and at the Naha Police Academy. Many of his students were not able to return until 1951. In October of 1953, Miyagi Chojun-sensei passed away. As I mentioned in the first video in this series, which talked about modern goju ryu organizations, he never appointed an official successor, though many have laid claim to that title. Throughout his lifetime, Miyagi-sensei contributed greatly to martial arts, and his influence still continues, almost 67 years after his death, to inspire karateka around the world. Thanks for watching this episode of History of goju ryu It's a little bit of a longer one, but it has to be since the subject is so important. Sorting through the different accounts of Miyagi-sensei's life was difficult but interesting, and I've included a few resources in the description if you'd like to learn a little bit more. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, and also leave a comment letting me know which parts of Miyagi-sensei's life you'd like to see me do a deeper dive into, since there was a lot I couldn't cover in this video. While you're down there, subscribe if you'd like to see more of the history of Goju Ryu when it comes out, and hit the notification bell which will let you know when I post these videos. The last three videos have been rather simple, uncontroversial looks into Goju Ryu's history, but the next few I have planned might ruffle some feathers as they deal with the different factional splits and succession squabbles that took place after Miyagi's death, so look forward to that. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and don't forget to train hard.